Hello, everybody. If you're new here, my name is Graham, and this is Lena. Lena and I are about to go on a little ride. Currently, wherever she feels like going, I left the gates open. I think we're leaving the arena. <laughs> That's what it appears to be. I wanted to talk a little bit about um, when people give you advice and you didn't ask for it, you didn't want it, it might be useful, but maybe not. And this is a really, really, you don't have to eat everything, you know. This is a really, really common thing. This happens a lot. It happens a lot, not only just in the horse world. I can tell you as a parent, there are plenty of people who are overly happy to let you know what you could be doing better with your child. So. Uh, there are a lot of parallels between parenting and horse. Let's go left. Horse, uh, horse ownership, horse training, horse husbandry. And I thought maybe I would start off with a bit of a story because being on YouTube here and being out there and available um, and putting out material that hopefully teaches people stuff, that huckleberry bush is going to be all gone one day and you'll have nothing to eat anymore. Anyhow, so <laughs> we're on a walk. This will probably be the first time that uh, you guys have seen this area complete. It is complete and it is absolutely awesome to come hang out in and ride. We'll just take a walk <laughs> with or without a horse. Check us out. Off we go. Up along the middle, bear scat back there. So there's bears here and there. I think there's only one so far. I haven't actually seen them, but they're out here somewhere. And uh, birds, lots of birds, obviously. Okay, hang on right. I didn't want to go that way yet. Back that way is uh, the next trail, but it's not done yet because there's only so much time on this planet to get things done. Anyhow, so I thought I would tell a little bit of a story first of my own experiences because I'm out there and people want to give me advice a lot. And it's a recent one. If you guys have watched my work with little Annie uh, doing halter work and getting her ready for being haltered and led around. And uh, I did a three-part series, and on the very first part, you know, which way are we going now? We're hanging a left. Uh, my very first part, I had somebody right away tell me that I was doing things wrong. I was likely going to uh, cause, <laughs> back to the huckleberry bush. Come on, get going. Stop eating everything. Nina eats everything in the forest as we cruise along. It's not like I wander to. I don't really, you know, want her to eat all the plants, but I let her nibble here and there. Just because, I don't know, it's a bit of incentive to be out here. She gets to just chew on some of the trees and stuff. Horses. So this person decided to let me know that I was training Annie wrong. Uh, the things that I was teaching her was going to let her what this person referred to as get away with certain behaviors and uh, I should do things different. So what I generally tend to do when I have people who want to come along and let me know these things is I tell them, okay, uh, I appreciate. I mean, sometimes I say I appreciate, but sometimes the advice is no good, but I'll tend to kind of follow the mindset of um, saying, you know, Thanks for your concern. Um, appreciate that all the same, but uh, if I'm putting up a video, it means that I'm teaching. I'm not looking for advice. And that's sort of the crux of all of these times that we're with our kids or horses. Somebody wants to give some thoughts. And so my rule is, is I give people a chance. And so I responded and let her know you know, I hear you, but, uh, you know, I'm not really looking for advice. Somebody needs to cut these branches in here. Probably me. 
and I didn't hear anything back at all. I gave it a week and that's it. That person has now been blocked and there's no more comments that will be coming. And that is kind of the concept that, oh my goodness. <laughs> Nina, that poor huckleberry bush. We got a lot of huckleberry bushes around here, so I'm not overly worried, but uh, I do like huckleberries. If you don't know what a huckleberry is, it's a tiny little red berry that's kind of tart. Tiny though. Bears eat them, birds eat them, huckleberry bushes everywhere. Along with the salmonberry bushes that she's eating right now. Come on, Lena, get moving, get out of the bushes and get wandering. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's hang a left here. Yep, and then we'll go around a little more. So the, co the concept is when somebody's willing to, so, cause the idea is mostly, uh, somebody's trying to give advice, trying to help. <laughs> Some are busy bodies and that's fine. You know, I mean, overall, but the idea is you give them a chance. You say, okay, I, thanks for your ah, concern. Somebody steer this horse properly. Uh, thanks for your concern, but I'm not interested. Um, nothing wrong with being polite. The problem comes more from people who get the repetitive advice. And the next problem that has been conveyed to me, because I get quite a few comments, uh, uh, like, what do I do? Or this is what's happening. And, you know, should I take this person's advice? Is um, people get concerned because they, uh, the owner, the owner of the facility is letting them know what they should be doing. And they don't want to say no, or they don't want to insult them. They don't want to tell them they're wrong. And that's a hard position to be in. And I respect that. Um, I would imagine it's probably like telling your, your mom, you know, and or your parent, <laughs> you're going to give advice on how to raise your kid. And you're like, look, it's my kid. Um, you know, and if you're respectful and kind, then you're not going to be of the type of person that wants to go around saying, I don't want your advice, you know, I'll do it myself. Everything, Lena, everything, every bush that we can find. And but in the horse world, it, I, I feel like it's a little different because some advice can be given and um, it can be dangerous advice. And a lot of the times the advice I hear goes against what I consider my own safety rules. Now, I take myself out of the equation in regards to what people say to me, what I would do. But whenever I give advice around this subject, no, 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 not over there. I give, no, don't go, no, nope, go straight. She usually kind of goes that way and then back up, but I kind of want to stay on the trails a little longer. It's a good ride. And uh, taking myself out of the equation in regards to what I would do, because it's easy to kind of do that on YouTube. And now that I own this place, I mean, it's not like I haven't had, what are we eating? Come on, Lena, let's go. Um, now that I have my own place, not nobody shows up here to give me advice. <laughs> Tells me what to do at my own house. Um, but I have been in a situation where I've been in boarding facilities and people have said things to me. It's like, yeah, I don't like that. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, eat that. Yeah, watch out. So, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not oblivious, oblivious to the, the problem. And I do think that it's important to stay respectful and kind, especially to the people that are probably helping take care of your horse, the place that you're at. But I do think that it's important to sort of stand up and just say, thank you very much. I'm okay. I have help or I have my own thoughts or this is my horse. And, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not asking for advice just at the moment. If I need your advice, you know, uh, I promise to let you know, you seem like a good resource to ask when required. And some people will continue on and try to say, well, look, you really need to listen and stuff like that. And I would say that, um, and it's not like I'm trying to give everybody, oh, this is exactly what you should do. But I know a lot of younger people who struggle with adults that come in and be a little bit, a little bit aggressive because they're just a child or just, you know. And I would say that it's okay to hold strong to your opinion on how you feel about what you're doing, uh, your abilities uh, as a horse, horseman, horsewoman, horse person, and say, I heard you, I understand you're very concerned about whatever it is. 
Uh, please let me try to manage this on my own for a little bit. Um, I respect your opinion, but I'm, I'm going to try to manage my own horse. Uh, and I think that would be a good thing to have in someone's mind. I think it would be a good thing to say to yourself, it's okay to say, no, I'm okay, I don't want help. Um, and the thing is, is that what you're looking for are people that can... <laughs> everything, Alina, uh, that can respect that. And when you find somebody that says, okay, fair, thanks for letting me know, uh, I'm here if you need me, those are the type of people that you want as teachers around you anyways, ones that will respect you and be kind towards you as a person in regards to um, how you want to manage this aspect of your life. And I think that can uh, apply to a lot of things. You know, if we, if we think about it, there's a lot of things that people will want to give advice on. And I do think it's important, definitely not to be mean. We don't want to call these people names. I know there's a few channels out there that call, uh, you know, people who want to be in your business, who want to give you more help than what you would ever want or have asked for, call them names, but we don't want to do that. We want to sort of objectively look at it and just say, hmm, you seem concerned. You seem like you want to be involved in my life. You seem like you want to be involved in my horse's life. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't asked. Um, I'm not looking for advice and that should be the end of it. Please be my friend. And if they choose, so we think about it, if they choose not to, then what you're doing is talking to somebody that doesn't actually care about you. They don't care about your feelings and your words. And our words are what are very, very important in our relationships around us. And, uh, and at, at that point, I do think that there is, just like anything that we sort of apply to this concept, uh, we can say at that point, look, you, you don't seem to be listening to my words. My words are very important to me. I want you to consider them as valuable as you consider your own words. And anybody that kind of says no to that, well, you know you've got a problem when you've laid it out so clearly uh, that it can't be misconstrued as anything other than my words are important. Please value them. And that's what I'd say is really important in the, in the horse world, in, in, in getting unwanted and unneeded, possibly unneeded uh, attention or advice. She's got to eat everything, you know, everything we see. She's like, I shall nibble that. So, right, fern time, got to eat a fern. Uh, side note, a lot of people ask, like, how do you get your horses to stop eating stuff? <laughs> in my case, it's like, stop riding in places that have nipples all over the place. I'm just kidding. More diligence, I'm riding with one hand, talking to a camera. Hi, Yoka. Lena, go left. Go left. Ducks! <laughs> that was Mama. Mama and Papa come down into here because there's bloodworms in there. And they seem to just love them. One more time, Lena, one more time. Let's go around a little more. Boys are eating. Keep going. We need the grass. So hopefully that helps somebody. Um, it's a big deal. It's a big deal to be able to communicate clearly, concisely, kindly, respectfully, in a way that still empowers you to be in control of the things that you want to be in control of. And, um, you know, the, there really isn't anything more powerful than using your words properly. And that's why we don't want to revert to thinking of people with name calling, with words that sort of subjectively define a behavior and uh, negatively subjectively define a behavior. It just doesn't help. It doesn't help us. I don't think I don't think it helps the people that we talk to. That person's a jerk. That person's a busybody. That person's a, um, you know, there's lots of names out there that I am not a fan of. I don't like it. I don't want it. And um, I hope you guys don't like it either. I hope that you would see that stuff and think, yeah, I don't want to be like that. What are we looking at, Lena? You look alert. We got our bear? Where's our bear? Somewhere out here. It's a gorgeous day. A little cloudy. A little cloudy. It's been cloudy lately, but that's okay. Just riding around in our, our forest. Absolutely gorgeous today in regards to sort of just calm, quiet, 
it's not raining in the forest here, our little rainforest. We're getting some great practice. Lena's been out and about. It's not our first ride. The trail is also going to go that way. But it's soaking wet. We've been getting a bit of rain, so I can't finish that part. Nor do I sort of have, <laughs> do I have the, the finances to do it just yet. So we're going to have a little bit of patience for that. And uh, keep practicing on the trails that we've got. Anyhow, that is it for now. Hopefully that helps. Uh, any questions, any thoughts, something to add, let me know in the comments below. And uh, <laughs> I'll be happy to respond. Oh, poor huckleberry bush. Come on, Lena, stop eating that thing. Let's go. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. And uh, I hope you're having a, a great day, kind of like I am. My favorite thing to do.